hey, what's up? How's life? I'm going to be doing the Q&A that I posted about a few weeks ago um, on my channel, and I'm excited to do it. I am scared to do it. So let's see, there's 18 questions, I think. I'm just going to go through them, answer, see what's going on in your life, and we can chat a little bit. So the first one, oh, this is just like a really cute comment, so I'll read it out. BV... BYY says, you are one of my favorite YouTubers. I hope I grow as many subs as you. Have a good day. That's really cute and just sweet and loving and I like that. So um, thank you and I will support you in your YouTube journey. So good luck with that. I really hope the best for you. Also, I have awful posture right now because I'm like, what did you guys say? So ignore that. Are you going to make more videos after you go back to school? <sighs> Maybe. I really don't want to promise anything right now, um, but we shall see if I want to or if I feel like it or if I end up doing it because who knows honestly like what I'm going to do. If I like start posting again and it feels right then totally like I don't see why I wouldn't but if I kind of don't feel like it's for me I might I might not so we're just gonna kind of see. I feel like this is like a trial run with like a few different videos just throwing them out here being like what's up because also I haven't posted besides like little like ask me questions video in months. So I don't even know who's still left here on my channel, who still like is watching these videos or like wants to watch them. So like, I don't really know how it's gonna be, but we're gonna see. And also what are your, um, what are some of your favorite summer activities? I have been obsessed with thrifting <laughs> recently. If you call it an activity, I work at a thrift shop. So I'm constantly thrifting and it's an issue. So that's like one of my favorites. Also, I've just been like really into it being adventurous and just like doing different things and trying new things. Rhiannon said, can you mess about with Snapchat filters? I don't know if you mean like in the video or if you mean like, do I mess around with them sometimes? And I do, um, but honestly, like not that often. Like I'm normally the type of person that just sends like the really ugly ones, and, like moves on with their day. <laughs> do you know who Dan and Phil are? I know them. I've like never watched any of their videos. They're just really not for me. Like, I don't have anything against them. I think they're cool dudes. They're doing great things. I'm just like, I've just never like stuck with them, I guess. And who are your YouTube inspirations? I think some random people that no matter what have like always been like people I can go to and watch and just like really feel a connection to. Probably I would say um, Ashley Elizabeth. Always like love her. I think she's awesome. I love Meg's Makeup 8. She's also great. Um, that rhymed. I love that. I love OK Baby and, you know, different people like that too. But I feel like especially with those two, I just, it feels like you're talking to a friend just like hanging out and doesn't feel like there's like a wall up between like creator and viewer. And like, that's what I aspire to have on my channel. That's why I wasn't making videos for so long because it just didn't feel so natural. So that's the tea. The DIY happy hour says... Do you know how to make a thumbnail on your phone? Because I love your thumbnails. Thanks, that's so nice. Um, I don't know how to make them on my phone. I make them with PicMonkey on my computer. So that's what I do personally. What is the awkwardest moment you have ever had? Also just subbed and love your channel. Mm, that's so sweet. I honestly like, I'm not the type of person that's like, I have had this one awful experience in my life. That's been like the most awkwardest thing ever. Like, I can't think of anything. I guess my whole entire life is just one awkward moment. I'm just kidding. That's like the trendy thing to say right now. <laughs> and then why do you like making YouTube videos? I really liked it because it's a way to like connect and inspire people or just like give someone like an escape from reality. I've just always really, really loved that about YouTube. And that's something I'm just hoping to like keep implementing on my channel and like not losing right now. Um, just like that sense of community is like my favorite part. KRMS says, how do you like writing slash blogging compared to making videos and vlogging? Um, I haven't done a blog post since like my first week of freshman year of college. So that's like two years ago at this point. So clearly, I don't like that as much as I like making videos. I like writing like poetry and stuff, but like actually like blogging and like the sense of like having a blog, not really my thing. But like making videos and stuff, I definitely do like more. That also is like hard for me right now too, so. It's just really weird. 
I don't know. I don't know why like all this stuff is just like hard to do. Like it's so weird to love something for so many years and then all of a sudden be like, I'm gonna take a few months off. Like it's just such a weird like transition. And also, what is the music on your outro? It is Sia. Ugh, is it sad? I don't even know the name of it because I don't know the actual song. Like I've never heard the actual song. I only have that one like mini clip from it. Like the Let me love you till you feel alright. Cause I'm yours and you are mine, 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 mine. I'll like actually find out the name and put it on the screen because. I do know the name on my computer, I just personally don't know the name. Guinea Pigs and Kitties says, do you have any pets and do you like any animals? I have two fish. I always have two fish, no matter uh, what happens, I just, I always have two. I just love fish. Um, slash, I don't have any pets because my family is not like a pet kind of family. And do I like any animals? Yes. I love animals. I think they're so, so cute. I love dogs and Cats, I don't really get. I'm gonna be honest here. I understand from your username, you're very into cats, or you, I'm assuming you probably are. Um, I don't really get the whole cat thing. Cats, like, they freak me out because they always just seem like they're mean. Even when they're purring and stuff, I'm like, when are you going to claw me? When are you going to bite me? Like, I'm just, I'm constantly scared around cats. But like, not like a Oh my god, like actually afraid. I'm just kind of like, I don't get what you're doing. <laughs> Haley Elaine said, I know school just got out, but I'm going to be a freshman in high school this fall and I'm so nervous. What is your advice for going into high school? We're gonna do some of those cliches and throw those out of the way. Okay. Be yourself. Don't be afraid to like do what you want to do with clubs and sports and all that kind of stuff. Don't let other people's um, opinions and stuff impact you. So we got those like little cliches out of the way. The real advice, I mean that is real advice, but I feel like you've just heard that so many times that it doesn't even absorb anymore, so I feel like you have to say the same things but in a different way to like actually let them stick and like implement into your life. So I would genuinely say to just like have fun and like do the work and obviously all that stuff, but don't be afraid to make memories and have like different situations in life where you're just kind of stepping out of your comfort zone a little bit and like living living your dream. I guess I'm going back to the cliches for a second but don't let other people influence anything that you do in a negative light. Like if people are trying to genuinely be there for you obviously listen to what they're saying but if they're just like <laughs> be like I don't need that in my life. Um, don't feel like you have to date people just because everyone's dating someone or like just don't follow the peer pressures don't give in to these cliques and these popularity groups and stuff like those they they never mattered you know don't fall for people who don't give you the time of day like there are so many different like little situations that high school is just known for I guess and it's just it's not fun and if you are in like what's deemed as like the popular group make sure that like you are actually a nice person and you're not one of those like people that they see in movies and stuff like you can be popular so there's nothing wrong with popularity in itself but when people use it as like a power or like a leverage over everyone else like that's an issue so i would just kind of keep all that in mind i guess it's like a lot of random little thoughts i didn't really have a lot of time to think about this one but yeah, I think I also do have a video on um, tips for freshmen. It might be freshmen in college or high school. I forget. I'd say just like to not be nervous, like you will be okay and it will be fine. Um, like no matter what, like everything does work out completely. So just don't be nervous about it. Try to be excited about it because that'll also give you a more positive outcome if you're putting positive emotions and energy out there. She also said this past school year, there was tons of drama. I never started it. I was dragged into it at the beginning of the year. I had four close friends, but by the end of the year, I was left with one. What's your advice for staying out of drama? What's the easiest way to make new friends? So that stinks. Drama, like, who is she? We don't know her around here. I would say... First of all, there, there is nothing wrong with having one good friend. Like, there was nothing wrong with that at all. I think if you had four friends and they were all fake people, but there was one of them that actually lasted and was good, like, that's, that's a good thing that you have, like, that one solid friend that shows who your true friends are through and through. I think my advice for saying out of drama and making new friends is, like, if someone comes to you and says, 
I heard you said this or you hear someone even talking behind your back saying I heard she said this just literally say I didn't say that or if I did I'm sorry that I said that you can own up to things that you do like that's completely okay um, so yeah I would say either you didn't say it and that's just it is what it is or you did say it and you're sorry you said it and here's why you said it or like sometimes people just make mistakes and like I just think people are so like do or die in high school or like middle school too it's like oh my god she said this one awful thing we hate her it's just like calm down like life's not that serious unless if it's like something awful that someone said or did like sometimes things are just really petty and you just like can't let them affect you there's a hair on my face so that's something i would say and also with making new friends just be open be yourself be willing to make new connections and understand that sometimes they do take a longer time than others also i would like to say that you should try to make one friend in every single class that's what i have done try to make one friend in every class even if it's just like do you have a pencil or like do you know where the bathroom is like so like such small little things like that are what kind of start small connections and then you'll see them maybe like in the hallways you can say hi and like slowly build up so that's what i would do that's what i have done and it has worked she said how do you deal with rude girls at school without caring what they think about you especially when you know they're talking bad about you and you have no control over it here is like what you gotta do it's hard it doesn't seem easy and it's cliche we love all those combinations but don't let anyone's opinion about you affect your outlook on yourself and also affect just your like your constant mood those people are talking about you for okay okay we're gonna talk those people could be talking about you for a few different reasons one so I'll pick up the phone I'm not gonna do you know do a leap as new rules here but you know so they could be talking about you because they're bored genuinely that could be a thing they're bored how ridiculous is that okay so they could be bored and so they're just talking about you they could maybe be jealous of you and they're just talking about you and trying to make you seem like a you know lesser human which is so messed up just so they could feel better about themselves so they're kind of like trying to put you down so they're like oh so i'm better right like finally i'm better so dumb um so i think what you could do you said you have no control over it there are like some small things that you could do you could honestly approach them in person i know it's daunting i know it's scary but there is no other way that you are going to like get what you need out of the situation unless if you go to them directly and in person um you know text messages social media all that kind of stuff can be screenshot it can be you know forwarded to so many different people it could be posted online like doing it in person is better you can also understand their tone of how they're talking so i would probably just go up to one of these girls and just say or maybe all of them depending on your situation and just say hey so i've been hearing that you've been saying these things about me i don't know if it's true that you've been saying them but i would like to just let you know what you're saying is not true about me and it is hurting my feelings that you are saying these things because I don't have any issues with you, I didn't think you had any issues with me, and I'm confused why we are having, you know, this situation right now. Like, we don't have to have this, I think you're a cool person, it's just hurting me that you're saying these untruthful things. Boom. See what they say. If you approach it, not like, why are you saying this about me? Like, you can't be extremely emotional, you have to be very, like, politically correct almost, in a way. You have to be very, like... I was just wondering here like what you're saying and why um yeah so i have to be like more casual about it which i feel like is kind of just like that sounds so dumb but that's what i would do and that's what i have done when people are like kind of being one of those kind of people just be like very like hey just kind of like wondering where you're coming from here because what are they going to say about that like oh you're fat and ugly like we hate you like calm down genuinely what are they going to say if you're being so like respectful at someone who doesn't even deserve respect to be honest like they can't can't really do much and then she also wanted to know if i could do a tutorial on how to apply foundation or bb cream i don't know if i have one that's like just dedicated to that but if you look at any of my tutorials or any of my get ready with me's you will see it normally what i do is just like moisturize prime 
and then apply foundation with the beauty blender that's like pretty much all i do so it's pretty simple all right so yomari orito i think is how you say your name said i love you and i have seven questions i love you too let's do this what's your favorite color i am so bad with favorites but i would probably say like pink or purple or blue yes when you first turned into a youtuber how did it feel i still don't even feel like a youtuber to be honest so when i get there i will let you know um what's your favorite song right now i've been really into huh been into a lot i've been really into charlie Puth's new album sean mendez's new album what's your favorite movie i love ratatouille and 10 things i hate about you <laughs> do you have a pet i have two fish and can you give tips for editing thumbnails and intros I have just done so much like random research. I could honestly just do one full video dedicated to that because I've been filming for a mad long time and that's something that I would really have to like sit down and think about first. So leave a comment below if any of you would also like to see a video on like how I edit, how I um, film or you know like what equipment I use and all that kind of stuff. Like let me know if you'd be into that. Also like how I do my thumbnails and intros and outros and stuff. Uh, my friend John asked a few questions. What's your favorite foundation? Right now it's been the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum, I think is what it's called. And I've been loving it. It's from um, Europe, so I can't like buy it here. But I got a bottle a few years ago from my friend in Ireland and I haven't used it yet because I was like savoring the moment. And I opened it a few weeks ago. It's been great. So I've been loving that one. And then he also asked me my favorite eyeshadow I own. And now the lighting is so bad. It's been like thundering and like raining all day. So the lighting has been like all day. But um, I don't know. I don't know if I have one favorite. Eyeshadow recently has been kind of stumping me. So I'm going to actually turn that question around to you guys. If you have any favorite eyeshadows or eyeshadow palettes, let me know. Because I just haven't really been feeling like inspired by eyeshadow recently so leave me a comment below letting me know and thank you so much for asking all those questions like i didn't think i would get any kind of engagement on this video honestly when i asked for it because i've been gone for so long but it meant a lot to me that you guys were still like you know sticking by me so i love you so much thank you so much for watching please be sure to subscribe comment thumbs up and all that jazz and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys